here is my super simple burn chamber in um, stationers. I almost said satisfactory. Stationers. Um, the burn just happens in the pipe here at very low pressure. Uh, you don't need most of this this crap. You don't need the filter. I'm just putting. I just put the filter in so I can maintain a burn. Um, and you don't really need the air conditioner. I'm using the air conditioners to uh, to heat up this pipe here and uh, heat up in in turn heat up the uh, uh, the fuel the fuel mixture and then a uh, uh, a heat exchanger. Typically, the heat exchanger I would have. Uh, with water coming in, so I'd heat up a, a water line, a hot water line, to about 2,000 degrees, and then your sources of hydrogen and oxygen. So, um, this is just uh, atmosphere, and this over here is just atmosphere. So, we'll start by putting in a tiny bit of uh, Oxygen will stop at about 10 moles. 11 moles, that's fine. And then for hydrogen, we'll stop at uh, 5 moles, 7 moles, fine. You don't have to be exact. Then we turn on the air conditioner, and the air conditioner will warm the fuel mixture until we get above 60 degrees, and then it will. Um, it will flash. There, it's flashed. And we can stop the air conditioner now. And that's all the energy we needed to ignite um, the hydrogen fuel, uh, fuel mixture, the hydrogen oxygen fuel mixture. Um, now, you do need to have a little more um, uh, moles to get it to uh, to ignite. I don't know what the minimum number of, uh, of moles it is to cause combustion. So we're a little low on hydrogen here, so let's just fill out some hydrogen. And it should combust again. And there, it's combusted again. We still have plenty of more oxygen in here, but um, let's just fill up some more oxygen. We'll go up to 20 moles this time. And then with 20 moles in, we'll turn on the hydrogen, and then that should that should just auto combust as soon as it's gotten enough um, uh, enough mass. And it's pushing its way up, as you can see. 17 degrees. It's very quickly. We're already up to 3 millipascals as well. And now it's going to stop, but let's just fill it up on, uh, on hydrogen here. We'll go up to 20 hydrogen. And now we'll try to combust the oxygen. The oxygen may not combust because there's, uh, um, there's too much trace elements in there. Uh, but I think the hydrogen just combusted. Okay, now that we've got it up to this point, um, the other constituents, the carbon dioxide and the uh, pollutant, is um, preventing it from combusting fur further. Um, we don't have any nitrous in there. I'm nitrous oxide. I'm kind of surprised we don't because that sneaks in there as well. Now as we pull this out, we might have another uh, spontaneous um, ignition. Because uh, I'm pretty sure all of the ratios have some kind of factor into them. But I'm not exactly sure what the, the uh, specific uh, requirements are. But uh, we have a ton of carbon dioxide, far more carbon dioxide than the oxygen that we put in. I don't know where we're getting the carbon dioxide. Perhaps we're burning the inside of the pipe up. Um, or we're burning impurities or something. I'm not 100% um, certain. 
this will just stay stabilized so we can just keep igniting. Let's uh, wait a few minutes for this to come down. Now we're down just to a couple moles of uh, contamination. Oh, and oh, I thought for a moment the nitrous uh, uh, became um, the nitrous oxide contaminated, but it didn't. Let's bring our oxygen up a little more. We'll stop at about 60. Now let's pretend we're an IC and uh, we've been given uh, instructions to get this to 1700. We'll pulse this once. Pulse it again. Yeah, we're burning a little more. We'll just leave it on now. We're getting close to 1700. And we've hit 1700. And as our pretend IC shuts off one of the valves, whichever one is we've decided to have um, an excess amount in this pipe. And now with 1750, if our water is 1750, we can then um, pipe that anywhere in our station to uh, uh, a point where we have a furnace, maybe out uh, somewhere, maybe even in, in the in the depths, and then again use another exchanger to go back to gas, and then we can keep the gas inside like um, to anything we want. We can just use a pollutant, or we can just use like a, a a garbage mixture and just pull off whatever we want. Um, we can also, if we wanted to, run a um, a uh, a Stirling engine off of this, whatever we wish. I'm not exactly sure if it's more efficient to burn um, uh, burn the uh, oxygen hydrogen like this um, than it is to burn it in a in a gas generator and maybe go through a, a Stirling. Um, but it's far more controllable. And now that we have uh, a good amount in there. We can get the whole thing going again. And that will kind of maintain our pressure here. We'll turn that back on. To keep our oxygen levels up. There we go, put that up to two just so we can shove more hydrogen in there. Now, I haven't been able to get it um, much above uh, 2,000 degrees Celsius. I'm, I don't know why. It just seems to like to loiter around there. Um, probably because our mass is increasing quite exponentially as well. All we really need to do is replenish our uh, hydrogen because we've got um, a virtually unlimited um, oxygen supply in the uh, in the carbon we've put in oh I don't know how many moles we've put in um, I think it starts with two with the two kilomoles I'm not exactly sure but if we no I think it starts with less than two kilomoles because we haven't put that much in. Uh, we've we've pumped up our oxygen level uh, several times to uh, uh, when we started to, to 10 and then to 20 and then to 30 and then we ran it for a little bit right now. So I, I guess maybe 500 moles, maybe more than 500 moles. But what we've gotten out of it um, is pretty much a constant supply of carbon. I keep hitting my mouse. Pretty much a constant supply of carbon dioxide here. Um, uh, like just now we're at 300 moles. 
that's a ridiculous amount. That's that's uh, that's physics breaking. What we should get from burning this mixture is water, but we're not getting water. We're getting a lot of other constituent elements. But that's fine. I would like. Uh, I, I thought nitrous would be in here, but it's not. I think maybe if I contaminate the mixture with nitrogen, it will spawn more nitrogen, like more nitrous oxide. I'm um, not 100% uh, certain. But uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my easy burn chamber. If you uh, if oh, that's a lot of uh, pressure right there. Oh, I couldn't I couldn't read the pressure. <laughs> so let's just try to get in here. Oh, there's not much pressure. I don't know enough to, th to throw me up uh, and I think I'm pretty light so <laughs> oh, fun so that's how that's how you that's how you build a uh, uh, a gas powered heater to heat up water or gases or anything you want to a, a fairly precise nature uh, it's pretty easy to get within um, 100 degrees of your target, even less if the IC is is particularly uh, uh, particularly well programmed. Um, I suppose you could calculate how many, how much, uh, um, how much your uh, your. your how much temperature you're going to generate, how much thermal energy you're going to generate based on the, the, the fuel that you shove into this pipe. But you don't have to. You can just have the IC check how much oxygen is and hydrogen is in there. And whenever it falls below a certain level, shove more of the other in. And if your temperature is below your target temperature, just do that. And that's it. And then pull out the gases that you uh, uh, you don't want and uh, send them off to do something. You can even maintain um, your pipe temperature by, say, uh, as you're pulling um, these constituent elements out, this carbon dioxide and this uh, pollutant, you can then put that through um, a... Uh, did it again. You can put that through a... Uh, um, um, an air conditioner to um, keep your thermal energy and the air conditioner uh, if you pipe it right uh, will only use 300 watts and you can get it down to uh, negative 200 or room temperature or whatever you want uh, this valve here is just um, as a, uh, a prevention so that if the uh, uh, if the pressure in this pipe starts exceeding um, half of the breaking point, it'll it'll dump it'll dump it out. But it's not necessary since you're doing such small amounts, and the only thing that you really care about is your thermal energy. Because if you were, say, uh, warming water, you'd have to burn a lot. You'd have to go slowly and just keep going and going and going and going until you were able to bring the um, the water up to the uh, to your target temperature. But that's it. Really simple. <laughs>